finished a project, a huge project. That's why we're two minutes late. That's why we're a few minutes late. Uh, we'll be <coughs> probably talking about that in our next video. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, can we just go sit down yeah. somewhere? I need to get out of a drink. Let's go sit down. Grab a drink. <laughs> Everybody. Grab a fro frosty beverage. Where should we sit? Here at the picnic table? Maybe in the shade. Mm, how are we going to do that? Mm. Anyway, I'm going over here. <sighs> so, I hope you all are doing well. I'm going to sit down here. Ugh. So we promised a... What did we promise? Our story. All the details on... Is it too bright back there? How we met. It's awfully bright. It's okay. How we met and how we went from kids in college to traveling to homesteading. <laughs> Man, what a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> I'm gonna need some more of that. You're gonna need some more bubbly? Okay. Okay, where do we start? And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. We'll be keeping track of that. So why don't you tell the story of how we met? You want me to tell the story of how we met? <sighs> hmm. I thought we were going to wait a little bit. Oh. To see if anybody's actually watching. Oh. Well, there's a few people watching. Is there comments on there? Drop the dirt. Oh. <laughs> oh. What does that mean? Tell us the story. Oh. We've been digging a lot <laughs> of dirt today, dirt. <laughs> so I was really confused for a second. We dropped a lot of dirt today. Mm. <laughs> we're filthy. Look how dirty we are. Yeah. Hopefully you can't tell all the dirt. Now. I don't think I don't think the low res YouTube <laughs> is gonna Okay. Anyway. Hold on, I need some more drink. Okay. So let's 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 talk about when we met. Okay. It was in <laughs> it was in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is where I grew up. I think there needs to be a little backstory. Okay. I was forced. <laughs> <laughs> to go to Johnson Bible College in Tennessee. Because everyone in your family went to there. Went yeah, there, right? and some other reasons. Yeah. And, um... Were you in trouble? <laughs> I was always in trouble. <laughs> and I didn't want to go, didn't want to be there, hardly went to class. Sorry, Mom, if you're watching this. <laughs> hardly ever went to class. I think I spent the first semester in bed. Sad. Anyway, um... I did make a few friends there, and my friend Meredith was like, you've got to get up and go to this show with me. We're going to go to UT. and Which is the which University is, of Tennessee. And there was like an all-campus worship night or something that was going on. And I was like, fine. She made me go. Didn't want to be there. But the last band to play was... Johnson's band and as soon as he walked on stage I said I turned my friend Meredith and I said that is the guy I'm gonna marry well I thought you said it was after it when I sang it was when you started yeah. singing yeah 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 anyway so that was the story and um we found someone Meredith and I found somebody <laughs> that knew the band and I was like you have to introduce us I didn't tell them why, but I was like, you have to introduce us. And so, and so they did. And and Jonathan was like, oh, <laughs> what did you say? Do you want to say I it? didn't know what to do. I, I was like, hey, I was like, I'm wait. Ashley, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he goes, oh, you guys should sign our guest book. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, so that was the thing back then. We had a, we had a, Online a guest book yeah, on, the, yeah. on the web page. So I did it that she night, uh -huh. and I don't remember, did you email or something after that? Yeah, that was how I got a hold of you. And yeah. Invited you to our Wednesday night thing at church, and then yeah. then we kind of started hanging out. Yeah, a little bit. But you were like, well, I'm not, I'm not dating anybody. 
Yeah, I had said I wasn't going to date anybody. I'm not going to date anybody. And so I was like, fine, we'll just hang out. <laughs> and then, Even though so, we, bo- we both knew. Yeah, that was in March <laughs> of 2002. I think we both knew as soon as we met. Yeah, that was March 2002. March 7th, to be exact. And um, I we hung out a few times through school. And then I left for the summer. Went mm-hmm. back to Indiana. Boo. Yeah, but we stayed in touch over the summer. Over Messenger. Yeah, yeah. MSN lots of, Messenger, baby. Lots of mess- oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys remember that? <laughs> Are we, um, We're old. <laughs> so we did that. Uh huh. And it was August when I went back to school. You came back. I came back. And I, was I like, didn't really want to. But and I was I like, did. Are we going to date already? And yeah. We went on our first date to the Goo Goo Dolls concert, which is the picture we had in the thumbnail. Yep. It was like a was it was like a day. Kind of a date. <laughs> it was a date. I thought it was a date. I thought it was a date too, but neither of us called it a date yeah. at the time because Yeah, you let's go to the you show together. Dating, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, we went to the show. Uh-huh. And you fell asleep on and the I... way back. Which was a great that, indicator of the rest of your life of our relationship of you sleeping. I was comfortable and yeah. I fell asleep. <laughs> you fall asleep early all the time. Yep. You're a good sleeper. I am. I'm really good at it. <laughs> and then we got that was August. We got engaged in November. And oh wait, wait, in wait! March. We got we what? got to tell them about the trip. What trip? Because I had to go meet your parents. Oh. <laughs> The first time you met my parents was to ask if we could get married. Yeah, I was like, yo, what's up? No, I Let's wasn't. get married. I was not like that. No, you were so nervous. But I was like, hey, it's the first time I've ever met you, and we're going to get married. You asked. Yeah, obviously. But that was the situation, and it was... It was awkward. Whew. I'm getting stressed out thinking about it. It all uh, worked out. They weren't super excited. Mostly because you were Pentecostal. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> oh, and they didn't know you. Yeah. Well, that's true. But they love you. To now. be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like. Can you oh, imagine? Hi. Can you imagine in our situation? You know that's. If a guy to us, came, right? if a guy came, to be like, "Hey, I'm gonna marry Adelaide." <laughs> that first time you meet him. Oh my gosh! Mm. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> We're gonna totally. If you put it like put us in my parents' shoes, like I know. That's I know. I didn't. I didn't think it was like such a big deal at the time, but like yeah. plus to have you, kids are. Plus, if you were at Johnson, because you were kind of a little bit in trouble. <laughs> sure, they were not excited. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, we came. We drove back, mm-hmm. and I proposed, and she said yes. I did. And thank you. <laughs> and we decided to get married one year and one day. From the day that we met, so March 8th. Yep. Of 2003. Hey, you remembered. Good job. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened I after that? I need another drink. No. Um, what happened after that? You're gonna have to tell him I have to get another drink. Oh, wait. I'll be back. Mm, we'll wait for you. What about you guys? Did you ever, when you first met your significant other, did you know right away that they were the one? I always thought that was kind of weird. I I thought maybe we were weird. But I've heard several people say that they knew right away. How old were we? I was... I was 20? When did we get married? 2003. 2003, We met in 2002. I was 20. We got married and then... Then I turned 21 after that. I was 20 and you were 23, right? Mm, <laughs> yeah. 22 or 23, yeah. You're 23. <sighs> yeah. Really need to be sponsored by them because these are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so then what happened? Then what happened? <sighs> we moved into an apartment. We got a little tiny apartment. We stayed there, what, a year? At year and a half. Year, yeah. Bought our first house for like it's like eighty six thousand dollars. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, when you could buy. Oh, uh, that was 
Um, yeah. It was right up the road from my parents. Super convenient. Very convenient. It's nice to have them <clears throat> close by. It's so nice to like your in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I um, like them too. I know you. Um, and then, so we were there for five years? In yeah. That house. Right at five years. And then we bought what we thought then, was well, our Well, our dream. family was growing. I think we were expecting our third little one. No. Yeah, Jax. No. Yeah. Oh, we were expecting no, Jax. no. Jax was six months old when we found that house because I went and looked at it with him. Or maybe we started him. looking. When, yeah, he yeah, was six months. Because we yeah. knew, yeah, we were going to run out of room. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we were going to run out of room in a 1,000 well, square foot is, house. this is, you know. This is our story. Like, <laughs> we thought the 1,000 square foot house was too small with three kids. But now we live in 200 square feet with four kids, two of which are teenagers. Correct. Yes. So, you know. But Things change, man. If that's how you, I mean, that's just sort of, you know, normal middle class growing up. Yeah. You, suburbs, like that's what Everybody you're... was expected to like have a room for each child. Right. Yeah. And that was like yeah. the thing to do. Now we're all in one now room. Now we're all in one. <laughs> one big metal tube. Which um, is why we're building a house. So, so yeah, so, so okay. the thousand square foot house, thousand square foot house. We had two children, three children there. <laughs> Not there, there, but. So we got a bigger house, a yeah. much bigger house. It's 2,700 square feet. It was a freaking mansion. I thought that was our dream house. I loved it. I loved that house. It was, I think. It's in you a know, cul-de-sac. You know, it's interesting if you think back. You remember when we went out there the first time and they were still developing like, and the area behind us was kind of wide open, uh -huh. and it, I think that was, like, the beginning of yeah. what we wanted. You're like, oh, it there's was a, a farm behind it us. It used to be an old farm. Uh, as we were there for several years, that all quickly got developed, and it got very sad. Not right behind us. Well, it did, eventually. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Um, I think maybe right when we were getting ready to oh. leave, they were starting to develop back there, mm -hmm. but. But that, that like feeling of, of peace and quiet. It was very quiet because we only had one neighbor at the time. And as soon as we moved in, they started building the house next to us. Yeah. It was loud. Anyway. Um, it was a nice house. It was a really nice had, house. We had good neighbors and, and we really liked it. And the kids had fun playing with everybody. But th we were homeschooling our kids and everyone else was not. And so <laughs> once everybody else kind of got to school age... We just kind of started going off in our own directions. Everybody got, you know. We always felt kind of weird because we were the only ones over there. Well, not not the only ones, but <laughs> in our little neighborhood Right. We weren't group. part of, like, the school activities or the... They weren't doing ballet or right. tennis lessons. Or just, <laughs> it's like, it was just, we liked hanging out with them and... Being in our own little We spent a lot of time in the house. But I think that also <laughs> yeah. that eventually got to a point where it was like, okay, we're spending too much time in this really big house. And I, keeping it up. I worked from home and... Our weekends were cleaning. We homeschooled. Yeah, we spent <laughs> weekends just cleaning the ridiculously large house. And we just kind of got to a point where we're like, we got to do something else. Mm -hmm. This is... Like, we want to go do stuff. And we had never really wanted to go do stuff before. Well, also, that was, like, right when we started trying to get out of debt really aggressively. Like, we paid off our cars, and then we were, like, looking at the mortgage on the house, and we were like, do we really <laughs> want to be paying on this for 30 years? Not like, really, no. <laughs> so we were like, what, what if we just sold it and left? Yeah. We could make back what we spent and well, have money to... We had enough money from the sale of the house to buy our RV and the truck. And the only reason we really did that was because I had a friend who had done the same thing a few years earlier. Yeah. And, like, we didn't even, it wasn't even a thing. Um, how long did it take us to downsize? I think we decided that we were going for sure in September of 2014. And then we left in March. No, May. May of 2015. Our house sold in 12 days. Yeah. So we had 12 days to get rid of stuff. A lot of stuff. And actually yeah. the people that bought our house bought a lot of our stuff. Yeah, like our furniture helped. and all of the wall art that I had up. Yeah. So that Bunk helped. Bunk beds. That yeah. helped a lot. So it was just mostly like dressers and 
all the yeah. random stuff. You did a ton of work, though. I mean, you were selling stuff on, like, Facebook groups and, yeah. and Craigslist, and yeah. we had, like, a stream of people coming to our house for months. Yep. It was weird. It was. <laughs> yeah, I think we started selling things and downsizing like, as soon as we decided, we were like, okay, I think, we know it's going to be a process. Let's start getting rid of stuff. I think you were doing it even before yeah. we decided. I've always been kind of a minimalist and yeah. love getting rid of stuff. You do. Still do. Yeah. <laughs> you like a good a good cleaning. A good purge. A good purge, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was 2015. We yeah, we sold, lived in May. We sold the house. We sold one of our cars. Actually, both of our cars. We bought a huge fifth wheel, brand new, and a used uh, T- F-350. Dually. Dually. I loved that truck, but it uh, was not the right truck for what right we truck. needed. And we set off on a grand adventure. Um, it was pretty cool. It was. It was a good. It was a good year, but also we did not love that we were stuck in campgrounds all the time because of that huge RV. It was a thirty. Seven foot fifth wheel with four slides, had a bunk room for the kids. We thought it was a so fireplace, small. like it had an island in the kitchen. Do you remember moving into it? And we were like, "How are we going to fit all of our stuff in here?" It was a good stepping stone. It was down to what we have now for sure. I don't we think feel we could like have. We would have um, probably not made it very long <laughs> if we had gone from the twenty seven hundred square foot house to mm. our airstream. Agreed. It was it was a really good process of yeah. finding out what we wanted and what we needed. Right. Yeah. Then. So we were on the road for five years. Well, no. Hold on. Back up. Mm. On the year for one year. On the road for one on year. On the year for your year. Yeah. And like I said, like I mean, we got to see a bunch of really amazing places. Hey, Ada. <laughs> and. Choke. You all right? Yeah. And um. But we kind of, like, did not love all the campground stuff, being yeah. so close to people all the time. We were um, always in the neighborhood. Yeah, we just, it's <laughs> like we traded our nice our nice neighborhood for a... Crappy neighborhood. For an RV neighborhood, <laughs> which sometimes was nice and sometimes was not, depending on... Most of on, the time was not. Right, because we were, you know, we didn't have money to spend, go in, like, super nice resorts all the time, right. so we were trying to save... Because we're traveling full time, which can get really expensive. If you're yeah, if you in start spending night. forty, fifty dollars a night, it adds up pretty quick. Yeah. <clears throat> so we we had this experience. This is a fun story. Um, oh. We'd heard about this thing called boondocking. Yeah. Which just means that you camp without hookups, kind of on national public lands, um, usually for free. Uh, but mainly, like, there's no power and no water. There's not usually not even, like, campsites most of the time. It's like mm-hmm. you go to this beautiful, pristine land in the middle of nowhere, pick a spot, and set up there for as long as you can. Mm-hmm. Um, well, usually a 14-day limit. But uh, but you kind of have to be set up. You have to have a certain rig for it. And um, so we tried it. We're like, okay, we're going to try to do this. And it was at Valley of Fire at Lake Mead. Well, we, we drove in at night. At night in a in a two wheel drive dually with a how, 13, how heavy thirteen five thirteen thousand five hundred pound rig. Yeah, and you know normally in most almost any other time it would have been perfectly fine, uh-huh. but it had rained the night before and we didn't know that because we just drove there that day, and we sh- we. I did start to get tipped off the more we drove back there and there were parts of the road that were like completely washed out. And I was like, it's fine. And I was like, that's weird. And (laughs) so we pull into this spot. I kept saying, let's just go a little bit further. Because we had read these reviews online. They're like, you got to get up to the Mesa area. There's a little area where you can overlook the entire lake. (laughs) Where there's like a cliff and then a lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we start, we we're driving, it's, it's pitch black and... And I'm like, this looks like it might be muddy. And you were like, no, it's fine. And, <laughs> and we start up the hill. It probably get less muddy the more you go up. We start up the hill <laughs> and we just started just <laughs> going. And we just kind of slid back down and like kind of turned weird. And like we were stuck. I mean, we were so not bad. going anywhere. Our, our wheel was this far in it the It was mud. like halfway in the mud. Yeah. yeah. And, and also because it was <clears> a fifth wheel and it's got the, the hitch pin in the bed of the truck. 
and the dually and it was a rear rear wheel drive, all that pressure was on that back axle and so it just dug down in the ground. Yeah, we kept trying to like go forward, <laughs> dig it out, dig it out some more and we just get got more and more stuff. It was stuff. bad. It was real bad. And this was like I don't know, probably nine thirty at night. And then it and, started raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we looked at the weather and it says uh flash flood warning. <laughs> And we were like, we're stuck on this edge of the cliff, like knee deep in, not knee deep, no, but ankle deep in mud. And all I could just picture was like this flood coming and like washing all of us off the cliff. No, we, we were able to put the legs down and get the RV stabilized. It was not level at all, but it was stabilized. But it was stabilized. And so we just kind of stayed hooked up. Yeah, because we, we couldn't get the off. truck was stuck on it. Yeah. So we were like, okay, let's just we'll go to sleep. We'll try to figure it out in the morning. Sleep. And we did not sleep, sleep well. But in the morning, we we kind of posted on Instagram. We're like, hey, we're idiots. Look what we did. And um, and these people that we had never met before. Um, I talked to him on Instagram. Just a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, bold. It was bold adventure. Yeah. That's not who they are anymore. Mike online, and Jordan A. Uh, they do overlanding stuff now, but they had just got a new ram to tow their airstream with. With a winch. With a winch. And, and he was like, I like, can <laughs> use my winch and get you out. He's like, I need to, I need to see what my winch can do. <laughs> and so, <laughs> um, so they drove two hours. Where were they? I don't even know. Uh, they I don't they know. drove two hours to us. Mm -hmm. And with their kids. With their kids. And. We pulled that thing out. We've got a video somewhere. There's a video of the his ram pulling our truck out. And then we like hooked up sideways to the RV. Uh -huh. And then him pulling both the truck and the RV out. The, our truck was, was... Helping a little bit. Yeah, at yeah. that point. But it looked really impressive because it looked like his was winch was out. like pulling our whole like 14,000. Yeah. Or no, it would have been... A lot. Like 20-something <laughs> thousand pounds with the truck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was like this whole crazy thing that we had to, it was nuts. And um, and so they said, uh, you know, we got done and, and they were like, hey, you know, if you guys want to try boondocking with some other people. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Uh, there's a bunch of us that are going to boondock over near Zion National Park at, in Hurricane. And so we're like, sure, yeah. So this was like a week later, was it? couple of days i think i yeah. don't know we ended up staying at lake mead for a few days um and then we did we went over there and hung out with all with a bunch of like really cool people that we're still friends with and like that was sort of the experience that sort of changed everything for us because it was on a like this crazy cliff out near zion it was gorgeous it was the middle of nowhere very wide open the kids just played and rode their bikes everywhere all day yeah and it i was like we were just we were like, okay, wait a minute. This is how we want to camp. Like, how do we do this? And, you know, <clears throat> I think it was pretty obvious that our rig was not, our truck was not set up for that. We didn't have a four-wheel drive truck. And our our rig was just too big and too heavy. Like, we barely even got back to where they were, and it was yeah. a pretty wide open space. And those poor people had to listen to our generators. <laughs> we didn't have any solar. <laughs> now that we had two generators that we were running, like, all, all day in that because we had one tiny little battery in that huge fifth wheel um it was hilarious so anyway we were on our way to work camp in oregon for like six months three four five months, months. um yeah. and so while we were there we started making plans we're like okay how can we do this and ended up deciding to renovate a vintage airstream um at your parents house yeah so they they finally came around to me and they're like, okay, fine, he can come stay with us for. for no, they came six around months. to you a long time ago. <laughs> um, so we we had this whole crazy thing worked out where we we went to Texas, we sold the truck and the trailer to another family, and then we went and picked up the airstream, and drove it to your parents' house, and we got a new truck too. Yeah. Like all within a month. Yeah. That was crazy. Bad truck, but we got one. It was great for a year, and then it all went downhill. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, yeah. we went to your parents. We spent six months, like day and night, six days a week, renovated the 72 Airstream. And then we went back out on the road, 
for yep. like three, three and years. And, a half more years. and that was like perfect. That was like the kind of adv- adventure and experience that we wanted yep. was being able to to stay off grid in a bunch of places and having a smaller rig that we could maneuver in a bunch of different ways and just go places we couldn't go with that other with the huge fifth wheel yeah and that birthed our love of off gridedness Gridedness. off gridedness (laughs) and and as we began to start thinking about you know what our life looked like after traveling full-time the old subdivision was not on that list anymore uh, (laughs) because we had been spoiled by being off grid and being sort of by ourselves and you know beautiful scenery and quiet and And we fell in love with Arizona we did we we found the desert Mm -hmm. and kind of loved it yeah so um yeah so we found this homestead or this property with nothing (laughs) on it nothing on it Mm -hmm. and we've been here nine Nine months months. now yeah Yeah. gosh has it been nine months Mm -hmm. goodness yeah so that's where we're at. We've transitioned officially. We now have animals. We've got all sorts of stuff we're working on here. We've fenced in. We're working on buildings. We planted our first tree. Yeah, planted our first tree today. That's part of our project yesterday. that we'll talk about Tuesday. Maybe, um, hopefully. Oh, hey, Ada. Can you go see if that time lapse is still going on? I camera? turned it off. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Uh, so that's our story. Anything else in yeah, our story? Yeah, that's it. That's the whole story. That's the whole story. <laughs> There's nothing in between. <laughs> oh, what's he oh, let 99 come out. He can come out now. Let him go We're out. all closed off. Oh, he's so sad. He smashed his face against the window. 99! <laughs> can you see if there's questions? All right. All right. Uh, thank you. Our earth bag building is looking very nice. You know, we have... Oh, jeez. Oh, what are you doing? Careful. Oh, that was you? Yeah. It sounded like him. Yeah. You can't see him. <laughs> He's going to bite your head. Okay. He's fine. Just let him run. Uh, so we're going to... Um, we have not been able to work on our earth bag building because it snowed. Well, that's not really why. Well, kind of. It snowed and everything was wet it was really and muddy cold. and cold. And it's it's warmed back up again, so we're hoping to get back to it. But oh. also, we've been working on this other project oh, that the, is very time sensitive. The huge solar post that we just built. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We spent, you spent, a month writing this blog post. And illustrating it and making the video. Well, about, we only spent a few days making the video, but like... All that research that you did for that? Yeah. The last post? yeah, the last video we just put up about the electrical and sort of solar install on our trailer was like it's just like five thousand words of nerdiness. It was insane. Yeah. Um, it was a sponsored thing, so we did get we did get some a little bit of money for it, which was nice, but it like it was so much work. <laughs> so much work. A month, like yeah, a month's worth of work. And we just like we had to get it done before we can focus on it. Yeah, else, so. we just we have this other project too that we're like trying so hard to get done to where we can like free our mind and like get back to that building. Cause... Yeah, we're getting back to it real soon. Yeah, now that it's warming back up. Can we talk about what we're doing with the building? Maybe. Hold on, someone had a question. Two questions. Uh, That's my aunt. Hi, Rhonda. Do you miss the baking? I still do a lot of baking. Not nearly as much as I used to. I used to sell bread and sell rolls. Do you remember all that stuff I used to sell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to make stuff all the time. I do miss it a little bit, but also I like doing other things more. You like making stuff better. Well, I mean, I'm still making something, but... Well, making like... I would rather be outside building a fence than be inside baking. Yeah. So... Um, Unless it's raining, then I'd rather be inside. What would you do differently if you had to start over? I don't. For traveling, let's say, let's say, let's just assume that this was for traveling. We would for sure have gotten a used RV and a new truck. We did it the opposite, and it was bad. Yeah, we spent so much money trying to fix our diesel trucks, to both diesel trucks. Unless you've got something over ten thousand pounds, don't bother with a diesel. Or well, unless that's you our, have a, that's our opinion. unless you have a mechanic that you trust, or you know how to do it, or you know how to work on it, because if you're traveling all over the country, 
you're going to waste thousands of dollars in diesel repairs. Thousands. Like, probably tens of thousands. Almost. It was... Yeah. It was ridiculous. Very expensive. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's... We would, we would get that's what a I would brand do new truck traveling. with, like, a big fat warranty on it. <laughs> and then... Um, and then a trailer that has all the kinks worked out because weirdly, Newer new ones. RVs are garbage because stuff. Most of them. Most of them, even the really expensive ones, all have issues that need to be fixed within the first year. The quality control issue is that's it's a that's the problem. Like yeah. they're pumping them out so fast that. And, we didn't realize this. And we just so thought. many makers and other people like service centers don't know all the models, so they don't know where everything is. And if you're getting your RV worked on in different states and different just locations, just know that you're going to have to get the same thing worked on multiple the times. Worst ex- we had the worst experiences mm-hmm. all over the country. Yeah, and that's, a, and we that's had a, another reason why we wanted to renovate was so that we knew where everything was and we could fix it ourselves. Yeah, I mean, and we had a great warranty with that. First yeah, sale. they paid for everything that first year, but. It was still a huge pain to actually get it worked on while you're traveling. Well, too, when you make a, a reservation to get any warranty work done, <laughs> they're like, yeah, we can get to it next week. Can you bring it in? But then they're like, you call them back. Yeah, we can be there. But uh, you're going to have to leave it for three months. <laughs> like, this is our house. Like, we can't just leave it for three months. Yeah, can we I, live in uh, your parking lot? Right. Like, anyway. That was stressful. We learned a lot that first year. Yeah. Now, if it was a homestead question, I don't know if it was a homestead question That's, or a traveling question. Yeah. What would we do different on the homestead? I know what we would do. We would wait on the animals. Yeah. Well, yeah, probably. We would probably wait a little bit longer on the animals. I don't know. It kills me to say that because I love them. But, yeah. but it does take up a lot of extra time that we could devote to building. Yeah, and money, too. And money. Because you got to feed them. Yeah. Then Although you, they are starting to give us stuff. We're yeah. getting milk and eggs. So is it three eggs a day now? Three eggs a day and like two, th- three cups of milk. <laughs> hey, Slowly it helps. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when uh, Mabel goes into labor, I mean, we'll be getting lots more milk. Mm-hmm. So um, We would have gone with our gut on our pump for yeah. our water setup. Yeah, a simple instead setup. Instead of wasting all that time and money on that huge pump. Yeah. Uh, that sun is, like, so bright. Yeah. I don't know what else we'd do differently out here. I mean, I don't think we're in it long enough to know for sure if we've done anything wrong yet. Oh, I'm sure we've done... <laughs> I know we've done stuff wrong, but... <laughs> but it's all been a learning lesson. I don't think I would change it just because we've learned so much since we've been here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do we... Do we miss boondocking? Well, we are boondocking, theoretically. Literally, every day. Every day. Uh, we do miss traveling, though, and sure. seeing so many amazing places, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I miss being able to leave when it's really hot. Mm-hmm. And but I just miss... to be able to leave, yeah. period, with, with like, the whole family. Mm. It's like, we really can't... We, somebody's we got to We don't have here. a vehicle that's large enough to carry 99 now and he can't really be by himself he need, he needs, we're gonna work on this he needs some decoupling a little bit a little bit of decoupling we actually had one of our neighbors come and watch him for all of it so that we could all go out to dinner one night that's that sad that's really I think, sad. I like that's sad we're one of those people that like has a dog sitter <laughs> we're not gonna be well we can't leave him inside i think he we could destroy. leave him in brooklyn out outside if we snuck away somehow I don't know. They'd be trouble, though. That's going to be something we work on when they're a little bit older. I but think. also, I think we do. I think you're right. I think if we had another paddock set up, we could leave them out there. Yeah. Yeah. And we could use it for the other animals to where we could graze them more. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> Big uh, question. Three eggs, enough to bake them. Wait, wait. Oh, one. oh, are your kids really as awesome as they seem? They are. Yeah. Do they fight? Of course. Not there... like a typical, we've been watching shows with them <laughs> where we see like, there's like kids on TV that fight like crazy with each other, <laughs> like siblings. And we're like, does that really happen? <laughs> I mean, well, they yeah. definitely argue. You did that but with it, your kids. With my, or your sisters. My sisters, I mean, yeah. yeah. We didn't get along at all. You got along with your family, right? Yeah, pretty much. You weren't, well, you had such a big age difference too. That's true. I was a lot older. 
I was the oldest. You were the youngest. You never caused any problems. Not that I know. Of. I mean, that's pro I probably. Your did. parents said you never got in trouble. Oh please. That's what they said. <laughs> if they're watching, they can correct us. They can, they can chime in. <laughs> but mm. so we kind of even each other out because Jonathan was always good and I was not. You were. A, you were a little bit. I of got a... into trouble all the time. <laughs> I think it was because of my friends. It was just my friends made me get into trouble. Right, right. <laughs> Three eggs, enough to bake with, yes. Yes, it is. Thanks for the tips. We just got 40 acres in the Texas desert. We're planning a road trip from New York to the desert. We're hoping to fall in love. Mm. Texas is hot. <laughs> Texas is humid. Texas? Well, it depends. High, high desert Texas is cool. It's really hard to dig in Texas. It, uh, it all depends. <laughs> it depends on where you're at. It's I'm really sure. hard to dig here, also, like a mile Also, it's an enormous there. state, so I can't really say that yeah. all of Texas is hard to dig in. <laughs> Way to overgeneralize. <laughs> Texas is hot. <laughs> Texas so is, is all So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, Texas, they're our neighbors. But te here's my view of Texas, is when we took our RV down to meet the other family when we were selling it. Oh, that was the worst oh, time. Let me tell you a little story about the day that <laughs> we picked up our Airstream. Can I tell about yeah, can I tell the story? Can tell the story. Um <laughs> so we bought our Airstream from the sweetest old man you ever did meet in Texas. And we had planned to go to this R V park with our fifth wheel. He's got a it's okay. He's fine. Is that okay? It's okay. fine. Um, what was, what was I saying? Sorry. Dog has a feather. Um, what were we saying? Uh, we Texas. bought our Airstream. Oh, we took our fist wheel down. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet William. Um, <laughs> can you help me with the story? <laughs> My mind is going All everywhere. right. William was how old? <laughs> old. 80s? 80s, probably. And uh, and he's showing us the Airstream. Yeah. And he hops out he, of the Airstream. He no, just had knee he, surgery. He leaps out. Yeah. He leaps out of it. Uh -huh. Just hops and, out and of Jonathan it. And Jonathan. I, and I jump out, out, and I'm in flip-flops, <laughs> and I my foot lands on the side of his driveway, and he has beautiful grass, but mm -hmm. it's it actually really like thick. this deep. And so I rolled my ankle because I hit the side of it and I didn't realize that the grass was so deep and like I just like rolled and, and my ankle goes boop. And yeah, super <laughs> swollen. And we had that day and, and the next morning. And you made so much fun of me because the 80 year old that just had knee surgery jumped out of the Airstream fine out. and I jump out and rolled my ankle and you did not live, let me live it down. Yes. It was really funny though. I was like. He just jumped out on your... <laughs> anyway. That was really funny. Um, but anyway, the sad part about the story is I had to move all of it by myself. It's not true. I, that's how I remember it. I moved all of the stuff out of the fifth wheel by myself into the Airstream <laughs> while you sat on the couch with your foot up. That is not That's how I remember it. My ankle, I was able to wrap it and help you for most of the day. I, I just remember you, you keep sitting saying on, that I, I didn't only do remember you sitting on the couch. <laughs> but it was like 150 oh, degrees yeah. That's, and like that was so my view humid. of Texas. That was my whole point of the story. It was so hot. I was dripping. It was like sweaty. And hot. I was so angry and I was like, and you're mad why does anybody live in Texas? <laughs> It was so hot. But that was like in, what, September? The end of August. The end of it August. It was a bad time. We were only there like two days. Yeah, you know, two days. To, and we had to move time. everything we own from one trailer to the other trailer. It was that, awful. The Airstream was like full of crap. It we was, didn't even organize anything. We just shoved it all in there. We couldn't walk into it. Looking back, that was probably really unsafe. Yeah. Put all that weight in that in the Airstream. Yeah. On those old axles. On those old axles. And, and they drive, drive a thousand miles. All the miles. way to India. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the things we learn. Uh, what is what is our elevation? We're at about forty eight hundred feet. So that sun is super annoying. Scooch over, so where my head's in the way. There we go. Okay. So yeah, forty eight hundred feet. So it's theoretically not as hot as it usually is, and but it. I mean, it got. It's been cold this winter. Sometimes. 
It comes and goes. It's been in the low. Tw- it's been below twenty degrees. Yeah, remember when we moved here? We were like, everybody was telling us how great the weather was, mm-hmm. and that it might get in the hundred degrees a couple times a year. Yeah. And we had a solid month of like over a hundred degrees, <laughs> and we were so mad. And everyone's like, it's never like this. And we're like, it's sure. never like this. Yeah, and then we decided to put up a fence in the middle, in of, the summer. middle of summer. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Remember Good that? times. Good times. <laughs> That's another thing we wouldn't do. No. <laughs> well, we kind of had to. No, we didn't have a choice. Those cows were causing yeah. problems. If we had the option, we would not build it in the summer. Mm-mm. No. Man, I feel like we've been talking forever. 40 minutes. Jeez. All right. Does anybody it's have like any we more? don't have any friends and we just talked to it. <laughs> you two. Does anybody have any more questions? Because we don't want to talk Bore too long. Bore anyone. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's the building going? We haven't been building for a while. Maybe you just jumped on. But it was like it snowed and it was really cold for a long time. And we've been in the middle of a couple of really Big projects. deep Airstream renovation article and video projects. Yeah. That we're, we're trying to finish Airstream renovation stuff. Oh, that's another thing. that Were we going to tell them about our build plan? Which build plan? No, no, no. Oh. No. Never mind. No, you won't let me tell you? We're not done with the other thing yet. There's too many things. I know. I know. We're almost there, though. You see the light? I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we're not boring? No, oh, thanks. Oh, I thought we were super boring. <laughs> what are our shade <clears throat> sail posts made of? Six by six, treated. And how deep are they set? They're set three feet. And Two and a half feet. Cement. And and each no, each post each post has like five bags of cement in it. We oh overbuilt a little. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare when you have to take those I out. I think we'll just cut them off. <laughs> no. <laughs> and cover them. We just need our friends with tractors to come dig them out. Or how about let's get a jackhammer and we'll just jackhammer the cement. No. I think we have friends idea. with tractors. That's my idea. That's what we're gonna do. It's not what we're gonna do. <laughs> At all. I just want a jackhammer. I don't need a jackhammer. <laughs> need a tractor. We do need a tractor. You know what else we we'll need? We'll get a jackhammer on a tractor. You know what else we need? What? We need an ATV. Yeah. You know what else we need? What? I need a motorcycle. Oh, man. I really do need a motorcycle. a lot of motors. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of vehicle type things. You know what else we need? What? A vehicle that we can all fit in. That would be good. Have you decided on water filtration or solved the mineral buildup issue? You know what we did? We never really talked about it, but we did put the magnets on our solar pump. Yeah, the pipes. line coming out of yeah. the, the thing. Um, I don't know if it's... It hasn't stopped completely. I feel like maybe it's a little better, but it's hard to tell. There's also something stuck in our kitchen faucet. In our Kraus ch- kitchen faucet. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So to get hot water to wash the dishes, we get to go to the bathroom sink and get the hot water. Yeah, it was working it's really great. great. Some, it's weird. It's like I sometimes think the, it randomly works. I think the mechanism deep inside is just broken. I think we are gonna have to get a new faucet. Oh man! No. Remember when you fixed it? Uh-huh. And it worked really well for uh-huh. like a few days. Yeah. I and remember. then we were like, yep. crap. Yep. I remember. But all the other stuff works, and the shower hasn't been getting clogged up as much. Although the other day when I got a shower, it was really cold. It was really cold outside. No, not outside. I'm saying it was cold outside. It was having trouble keeping up. No. It was really cold outside. A horse. Oh, gosh. (laughs) Don't tell Ada. Yes. We would love to get... Oh. Uh. (laughs) What did you say? (laughs) Someone said we need a horse. We know this. <laughs> she knows this. We all know this. We don't have horse funds and horse paddocks and horse barns. Yeah. Yes. You just gave me like a thousand dollars and I couldn't years. do it. You can build a barn for a thousand dollars? No. And get a horse and feed a horse for a year worth a thousand dollars? No. Okay. <laughs> you would have to help. That's what I'm That's saying. We can't do it right now. Help. Yeah. That would help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, One day. day One day. 
One day. Can you insulate a camper shell and open the back window for the pups? I don't know what that means. Oh, to keep the pups in there when we leave? No, they can't stay they're inside. They're they would too big. Everything. No, I think they're talking about outside. Like a camper shell that you would put on the back of a truck. Oh. Or maybe they're talking no, about not, putting one on the back of our truck. We're I not don't know. worried. Oh, maybe yeah. We're not worried about no like keeping the them warm. It's just that um, they nine, just destroy everything when we're gone. Brooklyn's an outside dog, and so she can't come inside. And nine nine will go will destroy everything if he's alone. Yeah. And he's or never if been we're not, alone. If we're not like, paying attention to him, he'll destroy yeah, everything. Yeah. So they it's kinda, like he just looks for opportunities to like grab things he's not supposed to. And then he like comes to us with it. And he's like, hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then he runs away. <laughs> um, I, yeah. So really, we do. We need like a, a fence that they can both hang out in. That they can't escape. That they can't escape. Yeah. We'll get there one day. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Why isn't the super chat? Oh, I don't even know what super chat is. I don't know what super chat is. What is super chat? I want a super chat. Know, Although we've been chatting for a long time. Maybe we shouldn't I think we chat. did super chat. Su- <laughs> we super chat. <laughs> We're such nerds. Why does anybody watch this? I don't know. <laughs> Look, it's going down, down, <laughs> down. <laughs> All the views. Down. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, just wait. Let's. We just should just keep talking until we see like it go down to zero. Someone says super chat is a donation tool. I have no <gasps> Ooh, idea. I don't know about this, but we should know about it. You know what else we should talk we will about? Google it, and we'll get back to you. What else should we talk no, about? No, I can't talk about it yet. What? The what? Oh mm, yeah. Yeah, we can't talk about, about it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why do we just keep saying, oh, we can't talk about that? That's a button that people can give you money. That sounds like a delicious button, and I would like to have <laughs> sounds that. sounds like a super button. I want a super button. Because <laughs> we have a lot of things to buy here. We do have a lot of things to and buy. And we could use some help. <laughs> so secretive. We're not trying to be, oh, crap, what, what did, did I just, just do? Oh, Hold on. He almost reported his comment. <laughs> so sorry. Sorry, Travis. It was an accident. <laughs> We're not trying to be secretive. I just keep thinking that we can talk about something and we can't. Oh, so Tracy was saying if we put a camper shell on the back, then the dogs could be in the back of the truck. Why don't we do that? Oh, I like that. Because okay, we don't have right. money for that. <laughs> <laughs> also, we just broke the back thing on our our um, cover of our bed. So Also, we have to we haul water in the bed of the truck. And so oh, we yeah, we put couldn't a camper do shell that. On it. I guess we just need a van. Google takes a cut of... Yeah, everybody takes a cut of everything. That's just how it works. Yeah. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe we don't have enough followers to have Super Chat. (laughs) Maybe Google hasn't turned it on yet for us. You know what? Can I tell you about how sad I am about something? (laughs) What are you sad about? Remember my goal for last year? Yeah. My goal last year, I had one goal, was to reach 10,000 viewers. Yeah, but <laughs> 10,000 subscribers <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. And I really thought that we could do it. I set that goal in June when, when we, we were, had 3,000, I think. Yeah. We got to 7,000. That's a pretty good jump. It's not bad. But it makes me feel like a little bit of a failure. No, Just a little no. bit of a... We're going to get there. It just may take a little longer It would be such thought. like a little milestone that I would like to celebrate. We're going to get there When somewhere. we hit 10,000... What are we going to do? We're going to give something away. <gasps> Oh, I like that. If we have enough money. <laughs> Maybe we no, can we're going to do it. Something. Yeah. I can make something cool. I could make some cookies. Yeah. No. I'm going to give something good away. <laughs> something really good. Okay. And useful. Okay. Because I'm not about things that aren't useful. We still have till June. Well, well we, it, we were trying my, to hit it by the end of yeah, the year. I wanted to hit it by December, but yeah. we'll get there. It's okay. We're slowly creeping up. I guess it's my goal this year, too. Yeah. This takes time. Yeah. A little bit of a failure. <laughs> no, you're not a failure. Okay. You're it's fine. It's not. We're fine. not a failure because we're Bake both and wine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like wine. Wine's gross. <laughs> you're a good baker. I do bake. And we live by a lot of wineries. That's just something that I could give. 
like a little bit of our area. I could send a mm. bottle of wine to some people. Or know. six Is bottles it hard of wine. To ship a bottle of wine? Or can you do oh, that? I'm sure you can ship I don't wine. Know. There's subscriptions for wine bottles. Yeah. And then they have to send the wine bottles back to us <laughs> so that we can use them. <laughs> right. right. No. Okay. All it's right. going to take too long to like get to zero, so we're just going to have to wrap it up. What do you mean up. get to zero? Well, remember the viewers kept do dimin oh, diminishing. Oh, I just watched them go up the whole time. No, look. See, it was at 36 and it's okay, at 35. Okay, now it's fine. They know we're wrapping up. All right, <laughs> friends. We appreciate you hanging with us for so long. So long. And we, we won't talk ever long. talk less long again. We just haven't been around people for so long. <laughs> <laughs> we really miss people. Have we visited? We've been to Bisbee to eat delicious tacos. We have not done the mind tour. I've also been to Bisbee to walk up and down those hills and look for the place to sign up our kids for homeschool. Yeah. That was so annoying. Yeah. I could not find that building. It's like San Francisco. I do it's love like, Bisbee. Mm -hmm. um, there's a great Mexican restaurant, if you're ever in Bisbee, that you want to go to called, was it Santiago's? I think it was Santiago's. Santiago's. And it's amazing. And you must get the ceviche. Ceviche is good. Yeah. Um, Everything's good, but <clears throat> get the ceviche. Yeah. All right. That's my out? two cents. Are we getting out of here? Yeah, I just miss talking to people. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to people, and yeah. I want to talk to people. <laughs> I'll uh, just talk to you the rest of the night. Okay, sounds good. We got stuff to do. I we know. gotta go get food. Oh, guys, if you follow us on Instagram, I put up on our stories our lack of food situation. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner. Did any of the chickens lay eggs today? We got one egg. Oh, we got two, two eggs. eggs. That's not. So what can eggs. I make with two eggs? We used all the goat milk. We may have to go into town. <sighs> anyway. We'll just throw 99 in the back of the truck and go. <laughs> no. <laughs> he would die. He's not that, that smart. All right, guys. All we're right. going to wrap it up. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you next we'll week. We'll see you next time.